Some faculty members at the University of Toronto are speaking out against the administration's approach toward the pro-Palestinian protests at the school. The university filed an injunction request yesterday after protesters defied a university-imposed deadline to leave. The motion asks the court to authorize police to remove the encampment, which was set up nearly a month ago. The CBC's Sarah Galashin is following the latest developments on this story and elsewhere. So, Sarah, what are you hearing from some of the faculty members? Yeah, Andrew, well, there was a group that gathered. They held a little press conference outside the University of Toronto, this uh, group of faculty and staff. In some cases, they were dressed in academic uh, regalia, uh, wearing uh, doctoral gowns in, in some cases, and they um, definitely taking issue with the administration's announcement of this legal move that it's taking to uh, ask the courts to uh, approve an injunction to have police uh, remove this, the pro-Palestinian pro protesters and their encampment by way of arrest if necessary. Um, some of what we heard from these, uh, these uh, faculty members, in some cases professors, is that they very much take issue and, and despite the fact that they have been uh, threatened with possibly being suspended for involving themselves with the encampment or even maybe fired, this is what some of them had to say. We say to our administration, if you decide to move against the students, you'll have to go through us first. Yeah. Yeah. We also implore our administration to remember that we are U of T. The administration is not the university. You are the custodians of our precious mission and you are failing the U of T community. There is still time, however, to do the right thing. Now, uh, in the last 25 minutes, we've actually gotten an email or I have gotten an email from the uh, U of T Media Relations pointing out that the, the number of uh, faculty who are um, in this uh, camp, if you will, uh, taking this position is actually a, a tiny minority, it says, of the more than 16,000 faculty members that make up the University of Toronto. And as well, this email pointing out that from the university's perspective, the encampment has created a border, a fenced area around it, and that... Uh, in some cases, uh, the measures they're taking are limiting the freedom of speech of others. That's, of course, been the, the criticism that by removing the encampment, it's a, an infringement on the freedom of speech of those who are taking part in it. From the university's perspective, we, we know that they have taken the, the legal move, that uh, this is now before the courts. There is a statement as well that um, has... Um, uh, come out from the, uh, the president of, of U of T writing that yesterday we met again with students representing those in the encampment on the St. George campus. Our next meeting is on Wednesday. We continue with discussions to reach a negotiated end to the unauthorized encampment. We also continue to pursue legal action to restore the use of King's College Circle to the entire university campus. But of course, Andrew, as you'd imagine, those uh, professors we've heard speak today uh, don't feel that the conversations with those who are in the encampment between the university are gonna be fruitful given the legal moves that are underway here. And Sarah, we're also following the protests taking place at a university in Quebec in, in uh, downtown Montreal. What's the latest there? Right, so that's at the, the University uh, du Québec at Montréal, often called uh, UCAM. They have uh, sought an injunction and it was partially granted. And in that, the, the protest, the encampment set up there has been ordered to move at least two meters away from the building. Now, UCAM has said that the reason they needed that was for safety reasons. It was blocking an emergency exit and that that was non-negotiable. Um, the encampment protesters today put out their own statement from UCAM. At that encampment, they write um, that they will comply. They're working to comply with that order, but that there are certain factors that are beyond their control. And they also assert that the injunction um, imposes what they're calling um, restrictive measures amounting to disguised dismantling. Now, as far as legal successes of injunctions go, UCAM is uh, a bit different from what McGill tried to do and failed to do twice in courts in that um, the UCAM rector has insisted that they never were asking the courts to entirely dismantle the encampment. They only wanted that two meter um, uh, measure away from the buildings and that was simply for safety reasons. That as well, they continue and have not ever stopped talking with those who are involved in the encampment, um, but also the rector pointing out, Andrew, uh, that uh, UCAM has no financial or academic ties to Israel. That's according to that university. All right, Sarah, thank you.